Hey, what's up, guys? Captain Bozzy here with the next episode in the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer N7 Academy series. In this episode, we're going to go into power combos, something that is extremely essential to be able to understand in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Um, I know that I have received some questions about power combos before, just demonstrating how they work in, in just a, a basic manner. So that's what I intend to do with this video. I'm going to go through the four different types of uh, power combos that you can do. So that's, of course, biotic, uh, tech, cryo, and fire. And uh, I'm just going to use uh, first the Asari Adept to uh, demonstrate the uh, biotic uh, combos or combo. So uh, let's get started here. Okay, so of course with the uh, sorry adept, we've got three powers. We got stasis, warp, and throw. As you can see uh, at the top left in my uh, my power my power bar. Um, so once we get started here, I'll just start off with a a stasis. Okay, so you can see there. Bam! Got the stasis. And then throw in warp to detonate it. Okay, so once again we got stasis. And then warp to detonate. So you can see that you know stasis is the one that's setting up the explosion. That's the primer, priming power. Okay. And then both warp or throw can be used for a detonation. So that was, of course, uh, that was throw right there. Okay. And the amount of damage that the power combos do, actually, uh, it uh, increases depending on what difficulty you're playing. Um, so another combo that I'll show you here is using warp. And then once it reloads, and then throw. So then warp and throw as the... Uh, as the combination there. So you can find out uh, all the powers in the game, which ones are the primers and which ones are the uh, are the detonators on the Mass Effect Wikia page. That's where I uh, recommend going. It's Mass Effect uh, Wikia.com slash wiki slash power combos, I believe the URL is. Um, so okay, so there's another stasis and I'll do a throw. Okay, so that's a biotic combo, and it's important to note that you don't just have to do uh, two biotic powers. Well, you do have to do two biotic powers um, in order to get a uh, biotic, biotic detonation. Um, but in order to detonate something like a fire explosion or cryo explosion um, you can actually use uh, a, uh, a tech power as the primer and then a biotic power as the detonator so I'll show you that with a sentinel later on um, so once again I'll just show you this one more time and then I'll go to the next character okay very simple just with biotic explosions, you got your you got your primer. Okay, got your primer and your detonator. Okay, so pretty straightforward. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so in this next segment here, uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to do uh, both cryo explosions and tech bursts. So. Um, I have here the N7 uh, Paladin, and uh, this is just um, footage from a uh, Silver Solo I did a little while ago. And um, so just to show you, of course, the N7 Paladin has uh, three powers that you can use. You can use Energy Drain, Incinerate, and Snap Freeze. And uh, so you see there, I just incinerated the uh, that brute coming up there, and now I'm going to... Uh, Okay, I just did a uh, another snap freeze on him, and bam, 
uh, did a uh, incinerate on him, and that did a cryo explosion. So, uh, with cryo explosions, of course, you you need to use um, either a uh, a power such as snap freeze that you know, obviously does like an ice you know cryo type of power. So there's another cryo explosion right there, um, or you need to use uh, cryo ammo. So I'm using cryo ammo in this video, and uh, there's uh, another another one. So of course. Uh, when you see enemies just like that, uh, uh, just like that cannibal there, uh, whenever they're covered in ice and they're you know, falling over, they're all cryoed out. You know they're um, you know they're primed for cryo explosion, uh, which you can then detonate. Uh, there's another one. You can then detonate with uh, you know power such as incinerate, or if you're uh, playing with a biotic character, you can use uh, something like warp or throw, or uh, any other type of kind of uh, projectile, projectile, projectile power. Um, uh, of course, uh, you know, just refer to the uh, the Mass Effect Wikia, you know. Um, the URL for that is, I believe, uh, masseffect.wikia.com slash wiki slash uh, power combos. And um, it's power underscore combos. And from there, you have a list of all of the different power combos that you can do in a game with more information um, about each of the different uh, types of power combos. Um, you know, all the different uh, powers that are the primers and all the, all the ones that are the detonators. Um, so you'll see here again, I'm going to do a combo on that Banshee. Um, there you go, I just did another cryo explosion, so that was a snap freeze and then incinerate. Um, Okay, so that's, that's pretty straightforward with uh, with cryo. With um, the tech burst, on the other hand, that's probably the um, the most rare type of uh, combo to do um, with uh, tech burst. You need to do um, obviously a power that is kind of, you know like energy drain or overload, something that is the best I can explain it, um, you know, an, ele an electric power. Um, so, uh, so when it comes to tech burst, that's basically what it means is electricity. Um, so, in order to do a tech burst, and uh, once I once again I said uh, that they are pretty rare to do. Uh, let's see if I do one in this clip here at some point. Um, you would need to do something like. Um, Overload and then do a uh, detonating power such as um, snap freeze or um, uh, or incinerate in order to, to get that uh, that tech burst. So let's just uh, give it a minute here, and I'm sure I'll do a. Uh, I, that was actually I think that may have been a tech burst right there. Um, so, so like I said, they are kind of subtle. They they don't they don't have uh, they're not quite as obvious. Uh, because um, when uh, you know, obviously, if you're like cryo an enemy like that cannibal I just did up there, he's going to be completely covered in ice, and it's going to be super obvious that he's fine. Um, same thing with um, uh, enemies that you prime with after a fire uh, fire explosion. They're going to be um, you know, they're, you're going to have the uh, you know the fire you know the red orange. Uh, you know, swirling around them, so it'll be, it'll be obvious that they're, you know, they're burning up and on fire. So, um, with tech, tech bursts, on the other hand, it's, it's not so obvious. It's um, like this uh, kind of light bluish, um, you know, like electricity-looking thing that's swirling around them. So uh, it's, it's not quite as not quite as obvious, um, you know, whenever they're primed for a tech burst. Um, and also, whenever you uh, do a tech burst, and uh, you know, it, do, it actually does the tech burst uh, explosion, um, it's it's more subtle than both the the cryo explosion and the the fire explosion. It's very obvious. You know, when you do a cryo explosion, it does the big like a, uh, ice, uh, uh, you know, cracking cracking sound, and um, you know has a big like you know ice burst. Where, and uh, the fire explosion, of course, you know actually sounds like a big explosion and uh, and then the um, 
Uh, Tech Burst, on the other hand, is, is a little bit more subtle. It actually kind of sounds like a fire explosion, but it's kind of like a, um, a, a less... Um, a less... I don't know, it's kind of like a smaller fire explosion, and it, it, it doesn't have the... Uh, you know the big fire shooting out. It's it's more of um, I need, <laughs> need to get some damn footage of it here. I don't, I'm not sure if I do it in this video. Um, it's like I said, they're rare. It's something that you kind of kind of do on accident or um, or you just you just happen to have the right team build to be doing all the time because just. Pretty much all the time, you're going to be doing uh, fire explosions and cryo explosions. Which I would say that, obviously, unless you have an all-biotic character or an all-biotic team, um, you're going to be doing all-biotic explosions. But for the most part, I would say that fire explosions are by far the most common type of uh, power combo that's found in the game. Uh, just because incendiary ammo is definitely the most, uh, most used ammo, and I would say it's definitely the best. Uh, ammo to use in the game, so there's a lot of, um, you know, people priming enemies with uh, incendiary ammo for fire explosions. Okay, so in just a couple seconds here, um, I'm going to do a tech burst on, on uh, Marauder. Um, so not this guy, but the, uh, the the next guy here. Okay, so this guy right here. Uh, so, okay, so I just did energy drain, and then uh, there you go. So you can see in the right corner. I hit him with an energy drain, and then um, I hit him with uh, incinerate to detonate the, the tech burst. So let's go back here and uh, okay. So let's go back here and uh, just check out that tech burst again, just so you can see it. Okay, so I did the energy drain on to remove the shield, and then bam, hit him with the incendiary. Okay, it happens kind of fast, so let's just do it one more time, just so that we can make it nice and clear to you what a tech burst looks like, because it's pretty subtle. Okay, so here we go one more time. Hit right, him with the. There you go. Okay. So you can see it's just draining his shields, and that's priming him uh, with like an electricity power, you know, like um, energy drain or overload. Um, and once again, check out the Mass Effect Wiki uh, page on it to see all of the uh, available uh, options to, to do priming. And then uh, using. Uh, the other power in uh, incinerate to do the detonation okay so that's going to wrap it up for cryo explosions and tech bursts and in this uh, last clip here i'll show you fire explosions okay so in this last part here i'm just going to demonstrate how to do a fire explosion and uh, i'm going to be using the krogan vanguard and this is just uh, some footage from a uh, gold solo i did a while ago and um, the Krogan Vanguard, you can use a combination of both tech and uh, biotic powers, because of course he has carnage as well as uh, biotic charge. So in, in just a little while here, at about the uh, one minute mark, um, I'm going to uh, do the fire explosion. Um, but of course, um, I'm using uh, incendiary ammo 4 uh, with the Rieger Carbine, which you can use to um, prime enemies for a fire explosion. And then, of course, you can use a power. Uh, so I'll show you right now. Okay, so they're primed, and bam, detonated the fire explosion using biotic charge. So as I mentioned earlier, um, you can mix um, both uh, tech and biotic powers as long as you are detonating with the biotic power, uh, you know, after you prime it with the tech power. So, um, you know, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, with fire explosions, uh, you can clearly see uh, whenever it's a fire explosion, obviously there will be a big uh, burst of fire, a fire explosion, <laughs> uh, that happens to the enemy. And, um, with each of the different uh, power combos, whenever there's an explosion, they all have their own uh, blast effect. So, of course, with the uh, remember earlier when you saw the cryo explosion, of course, you know it's the big ice shattering uh, explosion with the with the ice shattering sound, and um, with uh, biotic um, a biotic detonation, of course, it it makes that kind of uh, 
I don't even know how to, how to explain that sound, but of course it's like the purplish blue uh, looking explosion. Uh, kind of like a, you know, like a, a bubble is bursting or, or something, you know, that sound. And um, with uh, uh, Tech Burst, that's the one that's kind of deceptive, like kind of, uh, it's the most rare uh, combo that happens in the game. Um, it, it kind of sounds like um, a... Kind of sounds like a fire explosion a little bit. It's kind of like a a less um, I don't know, like like a less loud, less less brutal um, fire explosion type of sound because because obviously it's kind of like you know like static static sounding like um, you know um, I don't know, kind of kind of like lightning. I guess you could say. I think that's that's the best way you could put it. It's like it's kind of like a, you know, lightning going off and like a thunder thunder crack type of sound. Um, that's the best way I can really uh, I guess I can really describe it. Or, um, but you, you saw earlier how it worked. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, you know, using power combos as much as possible, getting good with them. Um, when you're playing earlier on. Uh, you know, probably with, you know, people in uh, bronze and silver. There's probably not going to be as much team chemistry unless you're playing with people you know. Um, so you may not be able to do as much comboing. I mean, maybe if you, you know, if you're with a good team, that'd be that's cool. But um, most of the time, you're probably just going to be running around and and everybody's going to be kind of doing their own thing. Um, but you know, once you uh, get to the higher difficulties, it becomes pretty essential. To be able to uh, have that power synergy with your with your teammates, to be able to uh, prime and detonate for one another, um, you know. So I definitely recommend uh, you know learning how to do that. And once again, as I mentioned earlier, um, check out that Mass Effect Wikia page with all the information about all the different power combos, um, so that you can see exactly for sure which. Uh, which powers prime and which powers detonate and some bo can both can do both um, and you know to see just like which ones actually create the combos um, as you, you know, get more experience and you know play the game for a while you'll just naturally know um, and of course the game does give you the visual cues whenever you actually prime an enemy uh, because they'll be uh, glowing with the particular color of that uh, particular, uh, you know, priming, uh, priming type. So of course, you know, they'll be glowing red with fire uh, whenever they're, uh, you know, there you go. Like that guy was uh, red with the uh, incendiary ammo, and of course, there'll be the purplish blue with biotic, and they'll be like, um, you know, like the flashing kind of like electricity going around their body if they're primed for a, a tech uh, burst and of course for cryo they'll look frozen um, so that's that's the easiest way to just um, you know be able to uh, keep that in mind you know which which power they are uh, primed with so um, if you find it confusing you know you, that I'd say just you know either refer to the wiki or of course you can always just look at uh, you know whatever colors they are, are is flashing on the enemy that's the easiest cue um, and uh, yeah just just keep practicing and eventually it will just become second nature to you with with doing combos and uh, it's a lot of fun so uh, yeah so give it a shot um, I think that's gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching um, in the next one I'm going to go back to uh, the menu, uh, you know, to go more into the uh, the characters that you can play, and I'll just go through all the different uh, you know characters, aka kits that you can play with in the game, as as well as talking about the uh, classes, uh, the difference, the main differences between all of the the six classes, um, so that you can have a little bit more insight into uh, you know some kits that you may want to play with, and of course I'll also tell you which ones are my personal favorites and, and you know in my opinion which ones are the best um, to get started with I went into a little bit of detail about that in the uh, in the beginning intro video but um, you know I wanted to save it uh, all the juicy details for its own video so stay tuned for the next one I'll see you next time thanks for watching Captain Bowsy out